Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. Today, finally, after a long period of uh, a break, we'll have our next vocabulary lesson, day number 94. Day number 93, today as I speak, happens to be December the 3rd, 2015. Day number 93, the last time we had our vocabulary lesson, last time I loaded uh, the video for vocabulary, day number 93, was on January 7th, 2015. Almost, almost 11 months ago, but I'm back. We're going to pick up, we're going to pick up from where we left off from day number 93 was the last day, as I said, today is day number 94. Today, the video for today is going to be a very short video. We're going to talk about just three or four words having to do with strange, peculiar, weird behavior. Let's take, a, let's take a look at the very first word. These words are very simple. These words, as I said, are very simple, but sometimes when you ask people for other parts of speech, uh, they have trouble with it. For example, eccentric is an adjective. Let's first work on the pronunciation. Ik then trick eccentric eccentric which simply means behaving in an odd manner behaving in an odd manner to have or if you like having odd manner from manner we have the word mannerism having odd mannerism, having strange habits, having strange or unusual habits, having strange or unusual habits, deviating from norms or conventions, deviating from norms or Conventions. Both of these words we have learned before, norms and conventions, deviating from how a person typically behaves or how a person is typically expected to behave. The very first image that comes to one's mind when we talk about eccentric behavior, whenever somebody mentions the name of Einstein, the very first thing that comes to my mind, I don't know about you, but the very first comes to the thing that comes to my mind is uh, our, uh, I'm not sure it should be is or are, his hair. His hair, if you look at his picture, they are going all over the place. He never combed his hair. That's a very eccentric behavior. He was eccentric. Of course he was eccentric. Most artists, most scientists, most people of those nature are eccentric. They, are eccentric. they have weird behavior. They have weird habit. They have strange, uh, uh, strange way of behaving in, a certain, in, in, in certain settings. And that's called, uh, and that's such a behavior is called eccentric. Eccentric behavior. The noun of eccentric would be noun would be eccentricity and this is the reason why we are learning the word eccentric even if you know the word even if you knew the word eccentric is a noun that we want to work on and the pronunciation is ek sen is e t Let's work on it together. Very first thing I want you to notice is that the first syllable, the pronunciation of the first syllable changes. Instead of ek, it becomes ek. Eccentricity. Ek, sen, tris, e, t. Eccentricity. Eccentric, 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 eccentricity. Plural, of course, will be eccentricities. Synonym would be Let's learn another word, which is a synonym of it, which means the exact same thing, odd behavior, strange behavior, which is a synonym of eccentric. Let's learn it, instead of, instead of rewriting everything, I'm just going to put a synonym up here, which means the exact same thing. And the word would be idiosyncrasy. Idiosyncrasy is a noun, not an adjective. Let's work on the pronunciation. Id. E, 
all sing cross C. Idiosyncrasy. Idiosyncrasy means peculiar behavior, odd behavior, odd mannerism, strange habits, all of those things that we just talked about. Idiosyncrasy and eccentricities, they're synonyms. Eccentricities, idiosyncrasies, they're synonyms. Peculiar behavior, as I said, odd behavior. The adjective would be, adjective of, adjective of idiosyncrasy would be, idio, idiosyncratic, idiosyncratic, let's learn, let's learn the pronunciation, it, e, o, sin, crad, it. One more time, it, e, o, sin, Idiosyncratic. idiosyncratic, idiosyncratic, idiosyncratic behavior is an odd behavior, it's a peculiar behavior, it's a strange behavior, it's a bizarre behavior, it's an eccentric behavior, behavior that is, that is the, that is the considered uh, not normal. It doesn't mean person is crazy obviously, it just means they have, they have certain odd habit, do you understand? I had a professor one time, dressed very nicely every day, Every, night, every day he dressed very nicely, a uh, nice suit on and so forth, but he always wore white socks, no matter what kind of shoes he was wearing, always had white socks, always, every day. Well, that's an eccentricity, that's an eccentric behavior, that's an idiosyncratic behavior, that's an idiosyncrasy. Let's learn one more word. Again, it's going to be a synonym of idiosyncrasy and eccentricity. And the word is... Peculiar, and that is an adjective. P Q Q year. Peculiar. A peculiar behavior is an odd behavior. It's a strange behavior. It's a bizarre, unusual behavior. It's an eccentric behavior. It's an idiosyncratic behavior. Peculiar is an adjective. Peculiar is an adjective. Therefore, Therefore, peculiar would be the synonym of, since this is an adjective, we're looking for adjective here, eccentricity is a noun, the synonym of peculiar would be eccentric, eccentric. not eccentricity, but eccentric. Peculiar, eccentric, idiosyncratic. Idiosyncratic, eccentric, peculiar. What's the noun of peculiar? The noun of peculiar is, where can we squeeze it? Let's put squeeze it down here. Noun of peculiar would be or perhaps we should put it somewhere on the top. Now if you're going to pronounce this part properly, you're going to have to slow down, otherwise you're going to muck it up. Muck it up with an M, not an F. You understand? P Q R E T. Whenever a word has more than three or four syllables, it's always a good idea to slow down. This one happens to have one, two, three, four, five, six syllables. We have to slow down. P Q L E R E T. Peculiarity. Peculiarity. Plural would be peculiarities. Peculiarities, eccentricities oddities, uh, uh, idiosyncrasies, eccentricities, and so forth. Do you understand? Here's another one we just said, oddities. Oddity is a noun of odd. Oddity, oddity, peculiarity, idiosyncrasy, eccentricities. These are all synonyms. These are all synonyms. He has too many peculiarities. He has too many idiosyncrasies, he has too many eccentricities, he has too many quarks. You understand? Let's do, let's do the last word quark that I just mentioned. Q-U-I-R-K. Let me put it in a better handwriting. 
Q-U-I-R. Okay, well that is much better. I'm very proud. Quark, very simple, one syllable, no, nothing to it. Quark is a noun. Quarky would be the adjective. Quarky would be the adjective. Would be the adjective. Are you kidding me? You want me to work with Michael on the project? I don't want to work with Michael. He's quirky. Michael is quirky. He's idiosyncratic. He's eccentric. He's very peculiar. I don't want to work with him. That was, that was the end for today. Oh, the last thing I want to do, I'm going to erase all of this thing and we're going to make a list of nouns and the adjective next to each other. Let's do them together. Just give me a second. Let's make sure my tea is not, not too hot here. Let's do it right here. Let's, instead of erasing everything here, let's do it here. So we have odd, we have odd, which is adjective, and the noun would be oddity. Noun would be oddities. We have eccentric, we did it already, eccentric would be eccentric, eccentric would eccentricity, eccentric, eccentricity. I'm not going to write all of them down, I changed my mind. So these are the adjective here, eccentric, eccentricity, idiosyncratic, idiosyncrasy, peculiar, peculiarity. You got it? They are right all here. That's all I have for today. We're going to pick up from here, but well, not from here. We're going, to, we're, going to, we're going to meet tomorrow on day number 95. We're going to learn some more words. The idea is to learn few words every day, but do it on a consistent basis. Doesn't have to be a lot of words, doesn't have to be 10 or 20 words. Even if you just do two, two or three or four, as long as you do it on a regular basis, even if you were to learn three words a day, in a year you will increase your vocabulary by a thousand words. That's quite a lot. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.